begin with a story you'll only see on Eyewitness News. The family of a little boy who drowned this summer in a Providence City pool is suing the city. And for the first time, the young victim's mother is speaking out. Reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now live with the interview you'll only see on Eyewitness News. Mike, as you mentioned, for the first time, Carlene Murthel spoke briefly about her son before breaking down. The grieving mother is taking her fight to City Hall, hoping a lawsuit helps bring some answers about her son's death. I miss my son. You know, it's very hard to it. <laughs> Jameson OCL's mother fights tears as she remembers her son. The nine-year-old Providence boy died in late August, three days after drowning at the McGrain City Pool. Now his family is suing the city for $15 million. I think that the city is 90, 90 or 95% guilty. According to the Providence Journal, the wrongful death suit claims a, quote, reckless and grossly negligent act by city employees led to Jameson's death. Jameson, his little brother, and cousin were left at the pool after lifeguards told his uncle he couldn't enter without a bathing suit. Because they told my husband, don't worry, they have people to watch the children. That's why he left the children. Gamel Bazale, Jameson's eight-year-old cousin, also nearly drowned when poolgoers found the pair floating face down in four feet of water. While the family knows nothing can bring Jameson back, they hope the suit helps hold the city accountable and provide some closure to the young boy's death. She's crying seven days a week, all day or night. She miss him a lot. The city has 40 days to respond to the family's claim. Uh, and as, as far as that goes, uh, we did try to reach out to the mayor's office tonight, but we were told the city can't comment on pending litigation. Live with the exclusive story in Providence, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.